Good evening, my dear my brothers and our sisters. Let us continue the chant of freedom. Now we have a study about Cheta, chapter 1. But we have many information about chapter 1. But based knowledge, you have all based knowledge of Cheta. The ex explanation, more explanation about these chapters are can be found in commentary and supplementary. That is for next to the Now, Abhidhamma is very long journey. Therefore, now we are running a marathon. I say quick, otherwise I, we cannot complete even chapter 2 or chapter 3. So, first we must run roughly. After that, we must cover other studies. So, and later I will explain how to attain Mecca and Pala. And in chapter, chapter 4, in chapter 4, it will be explained. So now, let us start with chapter 2. Last year also I explained in chapter 2 in detail. So this year, we should not delay on chapter 2. It's okay. So, Last year there is a record. You can listen to about chapter two. Chapter two is very very important to understand because in chapter two especially explain Jita Sika mental state. Mental states, these mental states, the most mental states occur in our daily life. Therefore, we should know. We should know which is evil middle state, which are evil middle state, which are good middle state. We must try to keep away, we must try to keep evil middle state away. We must cultivate good middle state. Without knowing, we cannot do it. So therefore, we must know these. Those that have it, have to occur depending on Chita are called Chita Sika. So Chita Sika means those who depend on Chita. Chita Sika. Chita means consciousness. Ika means occur depending on consciousness. That is the meaning. Chita Sika. Chita Chita synonymous term. Cheta, Cheta, Mana, Vijnana, these are synonymous terms. Synonym. So therefore, Cheta is consciousness. <coughs> Cheta Sika, mental state with it, which arises depending on Cheta. <coughs> so therefore, we must study about these. All type of Chaita Sika are able to arise only by depending on Chaita. Without the Chaita, no Chaita Sika can arise. No Chaita Sika. Therefore, in Dhammavara, you may remember the first version, first verse, Mano Bhubangama Dhamma, Mano Sitta, Mano Maya. Mind is a foreigner of all mental state. Mind is foreign now. Mind means a consciousness here, referring to consciousness. Consciousness is foreign now, all mental state. So without it, consciousness, Chaitasika cannot arise. Therefore, Chaitasika is dependent on Chaita. Without a Chaita, 
they are not able to rise. But chitta arises without a sum of chitta seeker. Accordingly, we be explained. When chitta and chitta seeker associate with one another, they have a full characteristic to rise together, to pass away together, to have an equal object, to have an equal base. So that is very simple. That is very simple. Association must be, must have the one base. All associations must have, even human associations are one base. Towards one object, arising the same moment, season the same, the same moment. They formed as a one. They united as a one. But they are, they have a different characteristic. Different characteristic. Therefore, actually they are not one. They are different from each other. You see, our body also, those who, what, that has different natures associated, formed together, united, formed together. Because of even our face, our head, you should check. I, ear, nose, stand. You see? Only the head, part of the head. <coughs> Eyes function, ears function, nose function, tongue functions are different. Different functions. But they are united as a one. You see, and you can put being united as one. But they perform their function. But all found as a human head. Therefore we we call that is one. One person. So like that, this mental state, these natures also they have different characteristics, but they united as a one. United as a one. How to know the united as a one? How to form as a one? They have the same base, with the same object, arising one, the same moment, ceasing the same moment. If it arises in different moments, season different moments, cannot be one. Base, different base, a different object also cannot be one. Therefore, association must be according to four characteristic. That is association. Chaita, Chaita, Sika were associated in this way. It is inseparable. Chaita and some of Chaita Sika is inseparable. If it's separate, no energy cannot be called one. Even you see our our body, if we separated mind and matter, what it will be? If it separated head, one part and arms another, so leg is another, if it separated, what it will be? If it's united together, we can talk, we can think. We can eat, we can sleep, everything can do. So the natures of Dharma also in this way. All are united equally. Therefore, if they form as a one, what has happened? We think this is permanent entity. Inside there is something which is a control. Therefore, many different philosophers think about their philosophies. Within us, there is something which is a control. There is a soul or atta, in Indian terms, atma. This atma controlled everything. 
Atma want to see, therefore I have to see. Atma want to hear, therefore he I have to hear. So inside there is something which is a control. That is permanent entity. They assume they like that. In our body, there is something which is a control everything, which arrange everything. When the Vasas died, this permanent entity go out in another body, entered another body. From one life to another life. In Indian philosophies, some philosophers as a thing. Only the Buddha can clarify, only the Buddha can declare that there is no permanent entity. Only Nama and Ruba or only five aggregate. If it's separated five aggregate, there's nothing. If it's united, it's energy and actions. So therefore, yes. the Buddha said, Metta is not Atta. Metta is not so. Feeling is not so. Perception is not so. Mental formation is not so. Consciousness is not so. Rupa Anatta, Vedana Anatta. The Buddha said, Sonya Atte Nava Atte Nava. Five crickets, five crickets are empty because they are neither soul nor the property of soul. If it's separated, there is nothing. The Buddha make is sure Ada is not inside five crickets, not outside five crickets, nowhere. If it United, all natures are united together, actions are beyond. So the Buddha, to clarify the meaning, and Abhidhamma especially, Buddha analyze. If a united is a one, we confuse. Therefore, not to confuse, the Buddha analyze. And last July, I conducted a Vidama class in Germany. There is a war house near Cologne. I started my Vidama class uh, with the explanation, analyzing of material qualities. And the second day, I analyzed. So one lady who attended that class, she thought so many analyzed. So she cannot bear, she cannot learn, beat the class. <laughs> so analyze is very important. Analyze is very important. Without an analyze, we cannot know the natures. We cannot remove from you. Therefore, we must specially analyze. You see, when we start vipassana, what is the start? Analytic and knowledge of mind and matter, nama rupa prachitanya. That is the start. When we Start a vipassana, we have such a knowledge, analytic knowledge of mind and matter. That is important. Otherwise, we cannot remove attachment. So, therefore, first we must know these. What is how to associate each other? How to understand the association? Reverse order, I will explain. These dhammas have equal base, walk with the equal object, rising, 
the same moment, C is in the same moment. Form SC1, that is called association. So when lower molar jetas arises, not only jeta arises, at least, uh, generally speaking, 22 jeta seekers arising together. You will find it later, okay? So that is a unity. Then let us study about the jeta seeker. Jeta seeker is 52. Jeta seeker is a composed of 52 types. It is classified into three groups. That is for the purpose to, for the purpose easier to explanation of association. That is just a text order. Number one, Anyasmana group. The meaning will be given later. Akusala group. Anyasmana group 30. Akusala group 40. Sobana group 25. But together, 52. That is just enumeration. Then Anyasmana 30. Anyasmana. Anya means other. Smana means common. Common to others. That is the meaning of Anyasmana. Common to others is classified into two, universal and particular. What is common to others? These Anyasmana, 30 middle states, if they associate with the Akusala, they become Akusala. If they associate with the Kusala, they become Kusala. They are colorless. Whatever they associate, they are similar to that. So therefore, Anyasmana. These are, we cannot say they are neither good nor evil. We can say neither good or no evil. So, come on to others. The same things when you say Anyasmana. So these, that universal, Anyasmana that associated with all chitta is the father subdivided into seven. They are divided into seven. Pasa, Kanta. Kanta means chitta and chitta sika. Chitta, contact with the object. That is a true pasa, function of pasa. Like a car. You see, car has different things. Battery, battery for what? Engine, engines for what? Petrol, petrols for what? They have different functions. Process. Here also, we also have different things. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, arm, or hand, or leg. Hand to bring something, eye to see, ear to hear or to listen, nose to, to get a smile, so different, different functions. Like that, in mental state, in mind, we think mind is the only one, but mind is not the only one. There is a unity, or a unity unity of mental state. Therefore, pasa is a contact. Through pasa, chaita contact to the object. Otherwise, otherwise I cannot contact. With a feeling or experience in the object. Without a vedana, cannot experience the object. Sanya, perception. Sanya means memorizing the object. Now people used paper and a bobbin for future remembrance. Remembrance. The sun. That is a sanya, the help of sanya. Otherwise we forgot easy. So sanya. Sanya means making mark. Through the mark we have to know. 
Y tú te haces no saña, totally forgot. So, there is a, some people have strong sanya. They remember. They remember. You see, sanya and sati. Memory also sati. Sati and sanya is similar to me. Sati have two functions. Mindfulness is present object. Memory is past object. But sati is memorized through help of sanya. Without a sanya, sati cannot memorize. Sanya's mental record, recording system. Recording system. Record. When sanya, data arises through sanya, the object is recorded. Recorded. So that is sanya, but it just a translation. Most of translators use perception. Perception. Chitana, volition. Most of translators use volition. He has a motivation. Actually, chitana is not wish. Not wish. That is just encouraged the other phenomenon to do their function, to perform their function. Stimulation, motivation is more close to the meaning. I prefer motivation and stimulation to pollution, according to their definition. So, Chetana. Ekagata, one point in this. Jivitaitariya Pakalati of mental state. Manasikara attention. These are the actions of the mental state which walk, which associate with it. Every consciousness. Every consciousness through these they walk with the object. So, one jeta, these seven universal jeta sika, form as a unit. That is one unit. This unit is inseparable. If it's separated, there is nothing. No energy. No energy. There is only one unit. We think my is only one. Only this, only this my knows, uh, sees, hears, can smell, taste, touch, think. But not all, not one. At the least, it must be seven, eight. One cheta and seven universal cheta sika form as a one. There will be more and more. Through Pasa, the Cheta has a contact with the object. Through Virana, this is experience of the object. Through Sanya, Cheta memorize. Through Chetana, Cheta's walk. Through Ekagata, Cheta's only one point and end. Jimmy Dainaria Fakarati of Mental Life is this is a protection system. Protect. Manasikara's attention. Without the attention, Chaita cannot know the object. Therefore, at least it must be easy. Chaita associated with it must be seven. Accordingly, they perform. Then the particular anyasmana that associated with the sum of the chaitas is further subdivided into six. 
they are Viteka, Anisha application, Vichara, Sustain application. I already explained about the Viteka and Vichara as a Chana factors. They are not only associated with the good, they associate the bad also. Therefore, Vitaka associated with the Akusala, Vitaka associated with the Kusala. When they associate with Akusala, they become evil. When they associate with Kusala, they are good, become Samba Sankapa, and Jhana factors, they perform in this way. You see, come only if we talk about the Vitaka. We think in something, we have a thought. Our thought may be good and bad. Sometimes uh, you see, thought for sense of pleasure. Or thought for, thought with the hatred. Thought for enjoyment. Thought for, with the cruelty. So many different things. Thought, thought for dana, thought for morality, thought for meditation practice, or good things also thought, bad things are also thought. So we take it as a both side. Therefore, we take it if associated with Lova Dosa Moha, it is taken evil. If associated with the Alova and Dosa Moha, it is good. So we must understand in this way. Vichara also the same, a dimoka, decision. But this decision, this translation is unsatisfactory. Actually, a dimoka means, uh, most of translators use a decision. What is a decision? Not decided, not something. I must do this one, I decide I must not like that. So, a demoka decision means it is fixed with the object. Chaita is fixed in the object, that is a demoka. Fix the object. Internal object. Not the decision of good and bad, a demoka. Entering the object, my entire the object, my fix the object, that is a demonka. We read a thought. That is very clear, a thought. Effort to do something, effort to kill, effort to steal, or evil. Effort to practice meditation, uh, good and bad. Effort also. Pity. Pity is a joy. Joy means thinking about the object, one is joyful. That is a pity. Where there is a pity, there is a sukha, happiness. Yeah. They ever joy. Chanda, wish to do. Wish to do. Wish to do means just wish to do, not because, not to look like a lover. Not all wish to do are with the craving. We must understand in this chanda associated with the lover, chanda associated with the dosa. Wish to beat others with the dosa wish to use abusive language with the dosa, wish to enjoy the sense of pleasure with the lover, wish to offer the dana, wish to practice meditation just as sandha with the alova and adosa. So accordingly we must understand this one. So chanda and lava is different in nature. But a similar, Lava also want desire, Chana also want desire, 
desire for enjoyment, desire for enjoyment with attachment, that is lower. Which to do? Something to offer others. Which to do? Welfare of well-being of other people. Which to do social work? Which to teach others? Which to give a kind light to others? Which to explain a dharma? This is a lot of chandas you see without a craving. So different. So these seven universes have six particular. They are neither evil nor good. If they associate with the evil, they become evil. If they associate with the good, they become good. Naturally, normally, they cannot say good and bad, good and evil. So these natures arises in our mind, in our consciousness. The Akusala Chetasikas 40. These are pure Akusala. Akusala Chetasika and moral mental state is subdivided into 14. Moha, ignorance or delusion. Ignorance for what? Ignorance what it should be done, what should not be done. Ignorance of Ignorance what is it true. This ignorance also according to object in different things, different ways. The most important moha is ignorance of four noble truth. Ignorance of four noble truth. We cannot know everything. But if we wish to attain Devana, we must know Four Noble Truth. Without knowing Four Noble Truth, we cannot attain. So accordingly, we must know. Ignorance means uh, the most important is ignorance is what, what should be done, what should not be done. What should not be done means evil things. What it should be done means good. If we cannot choose what should be done, what should not be done, we will do what it should not be done. We will not. We will avoid what it should be done. We cannot have benefit. So. Basically, we mustn't know what it should be done, what should not. If we don't know, that is moha. But we cannot know everything. We cannot know everything. Some are not important. For example, we don't know. Some people don't know English. Some people don't know Chinese. Some people, that is not so important for Nirvana, to attain Nirvana. So to attain Nirvana, we must know really the nature of Dharma, we must know what is true. Otherwise, we cannot attain Nirvana. Even Arahants, many things they don't know. Only the Buddha, the Buddha, if he wish to know he can know. He is able to know. But the Buddha does not know forever. Wish to know. If you wish to know, can know. That is the meaning. In those days, the contemporary, the teachers, great teachers, like Purana, Kasapa, Pakali, Gosala, they declare they have omniscient. Omniscience, their knowledge is forever. Just sleeping, 
knowledge is remain. Going, coming, eating, anytime, anywhere, the knowledge is remain. Is it possible or not possible? Just a sleeping, how to know? Why is it sleeping? They declared sleeping also our knowledge is light, like light, a beer. So the Buddha criticized about they declared omniscient forever their knowledge is remain. If it's so, when they ask what is your name, where did you come from? The Buddha said, I don't know if I not, if I do not want to know. You see, the Buddha asked monks, where did you come from? Because just ask him, if the Buddha wished to know things, there is no hindrance, no disturbance can know everything. That is in the power of Sapanyuta. No disturbance between them. All object, the Buddha can be known, if he wish to know. But sleep and dies, no knowledge is appeared. You see, there is not particular ways. We have an eye and our eyes, if we use the eye to see something, to look at something, at the time I walk. Not always I walk, you see. Sometimes we just like to, to see anything. So we may close our eyes, we cannot see at the time. So the Buddha's knowledge also in this way. If he wish to use his knowledge, he can see everything. He can know everything. That is at the meaning. But the other declared their knowledge is always present. Always present. They see, they know everything forever. Sabanyuta jnana. The Buddha says Sabanyuta jnana is not like that. When we wish to know things, the Buddha can know, is able to know everything. That is in the Buddha says Sabanyuta. So Moha, some Buddhist schools assume only Buddha completely eradicated Moha. Completely eradicated Moha. Arahans still remain Moha, they assume. But that is not correct. Only the knowledge is not The knowledge is not haiha or shopping enough. Knowledge is not working enough. Not, knowledge is not perfect. But not because of ignorance, not because of moha. You see, moha also have fi. What is it? It's fi. Four noble truth. Arahans realize four noble truth. Therefore, can eradicate all mental state, all mental department. Therefore, no more heart within them. No more heart within them. But Arahas, Arahas cannot know like a Buddha because their knowledge is not perfect. Not because of moha. Knowledge is not good enough like a Buddha. So that is the meaning. That is the meaning. Not because of Moha. Some schools of belief Rahas have still remain Moha within Raha. If there is a Moha, will be all other Akusalas also will rise. So it is not reasonable. So Moha ignorance. Ignorance of four noble truth. Ignorance of Patejas Vopa. But it just more is a causality, cause and effect. 
That is important to know. Ahirika, shamelessness. That is mental shamelessness. To do any evil action, one has shamelessness. That is Ahirika. Another one has fearlessness to do evil. Udracha means mental restlessness. These force associated with all evil states. Then lower attachment or craving or greed, deity around you, mana, conceit, dosa, hatred or fear, is that envy, jealousy, material, stinginess, kukucha, remorse, or worry, tina, sloth, meda, topa, vichigecha, doubt. These 40 mental states are evil mental states, akusana. They associate only akusana. They do not associate any other Kusala, Vipaka, Kariya, they cannot associate. So these are just a Kusala. Now the four associations. Then Sobhana Chita Sika, 25. That mental state that is with the Pachu is Sobhana. Sobhana means a beautiful mental state because they have good, they have a bachu. Sovereign mental states are 50, 25, 25. They should be classified into four group for association. Sovereign sadharana common to all types of sovereign chitta. Virati, abstinence, abhamanya, illimitable, limitless, or boundless. Immeasurable Panya wisdom. Such a separation is for association. To explain easier explanation for the purpose of easier explanation of association. Then Sobhana Sadharana 19. These are good qualities, you see. There are 19 Sobhana mental states that are common to all types of so Sobhana Chaitas. Sobhana Chaitas means, uh, you see, Maha Kama Sobhana Chaitas, 24 Upavajra Chaitas, 50 Arubavajra Chaitas, 12 Lokotra Chaitas, 8. They are called Sobhana. Sobhana. So these are good qualities. You can find it within you. Number one, Sattva. Sattva means faith. In the first lecture in May, I explained in detail this, already explained. So, let me go. Let me run marathon. <laughs> Otherwise, many repetitions will be. Only one Chita Sika way is playing. One lecture, two lecture. <laughs> so, Sata, everybody knows about the Sata. Sata is faith. Sometimes the translators use confidence. Not only confidence is Sata. I prefer faith, faith with the knowledge, yeah. Even faith, any kind of faith in religion, there is a KB called Sada. But according to Atasalini commentary on Dhammasangani, he said, faith in Bodha Dhamma Sangha, only the faith in Bodha Dhamma Sangha is a Sata. 
Faith in other religions is not a sata, he said. In my opinion, faith, any kind of faith is a chemical sata, but without knowledge is blind faith. Because of, in other places, faith must be controlled, sata must be controlled with the knowledge, by knowledge. Without the controlling of knowledge, sata becomes blind faith. Sata must, must control with the knowledge. If it's so, any kind of faith must be sata. Any kind of faith. But the Narayana Purakosa want to say, Sata, the word Sata is used to only the faith in Purana in Kama and the effect of Kama. Not the other faiths want to say. But in other places, faith must be controlled with knowledge. Otherwise, it's a faith, it's become blind faith. So therefore, any kind of faith is a sata. If there is no knowledge, it will be blind faith. With the knowledge, it's a faith with the knowledge, is important, good one. Without knowledge, it cannot be good one. So we must understand this way. Sata. Then another way, Sata is not only faith, it's a Sata. Sata means enthusiasm, resolution, also Sata. If you are interested in good action or meritorious action, all interesting and meritorious action. For example, you are interested to offer dana, you are interested in observing zila, you are interested in practice meditation. Such an interesting is a called sata. When sata arises, such an idea be uh, I must offer dana, I must observe sila, I must practice meditation, I must go to monastery to listen to dhamma. Such ideas appear because of sata. That is also sata. When sata appeared, when sata arises within our mind, our minds interested in good actions. This is Sada can purify the lower dosa moha, can wash away desire for sense and pleasure. Sada can wash away hatred. Sada can wash away worry and restlessness, sloth and topa as a doubt. Any kind of hindrances, Sada can wash away. So Sada is compared to the ruby of Chakawati, king of monarch, monarchike, monarch. The rubies belong to monarch. This ruby, precious stone, on those days there no pure, no purified water, no system, no machine to purify water, drinking waters. Therefore, when the king Chakavati wished to drink pure water, what to do they use? The ruby stone. They put ruby stone into the cup of water. Through the power of ruby stone, the, big, the water becomes pure. You should test this one. <laughs> 
Test your sensei like a that. So, sada is in this way. Can purify. When sada arises, it can purify our mind. So, that is also the function of sada. Then, sati, mindfulness. Mindfulness is a dealing with the present object. Dealing with the present object. But memory also sati. People so when they meet each other they say, Oh I I remember you. I remember. That is also sati, you see. He remembers his school days, he remembers his school days. That is also sati. Very long time ago they meet each other, they remember us about that. People also talk about their, uh, the age of children. They are young. When they are young, what they have been, they talk about. That is a sati. That is also sati. In commentary, there is a record. Apaya I think this Apaya in Sri Lanka monk. He remember what has happened in his life. He remember since five years of age. Do you remember uh, from which year, years or age you remember in your life? He says, oh, one month is not five years, five months of age. He remembers. So there is a good memories. I remember as a few years of age when the aeroplanes, you see, at that time, Japanese invited, invade Myanmar and then dropped upon the whole country. I saw the some aeroplane fighters crossing over our village. I remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, I was three years of age, has been. When we are young, we found the bone, this bone is very small, hiding and under a tree there is rubbish. And uh, we don't know about it that we find out this, we are very happy. Oh, what is it, the things, very beautiful things, we try to want to open. <laughs> we try to open. Luckily, the elders find out, ah, don't open, that is a bone. <laughs> so we came. They threw into the river. And those, that also I remember. So, many people are dying because of such a things in Myanmar after Second World War. Many people have died. So therefore, Sati, mindfulness is present object, mindful. That is a concerning with the meditation object. Mind, meditation, mindful, the object. Present time is mindful. Remember the past object. It is a memory. So we can, we should translate the mindfulness and the memory, also sati, remembrance. Then here is Morashe, opposite of Ahirika. Otapas, more dread, opposite of Anotapa. Here is Otapa. Here is pay respect once a virtue. 
Put up a pay respect circumstances. Hiri Otapa, you see, in this way. Hiri Shen means referring to his own quality. I'm educated, I should not do in this way. So, pay respect himself. I'm a good man, I should not do this one. I'm educated, I should not do like that. That is a hiri. Otapa means referring to parents, referring to circumstances. If I do such a evil things, what my mother, what my father will feel like that. That is Otapa. Aloha, no attachment. Adosa, no hatred. There is the opposite of Loba and Tosa. We must study these qualities. These qualities can be found within us. We must find out these things in our mind. But mostly within us are Akusala, Poti. You see, mostly. We must try to remove these moha, ahedika, nutapa, loba, dosa, mostly these things. So therefore we must try these things. Okay, next lecture will be completed on explanations. Now let me pray. Sobenna Chitasika, Judipu Mendor State. Tatara Machatata. In Pali, Cloud Words, Tatara Machatata. Equanimity. Mitta Karuna Murida Upeka. And Upeka is only this one, Tatra Machadada. This Tatra Machadada is called Upeka in four novel about. But in the test, ten types of Upekas are mentioned. Some Upekas are feeling like it indifferent feeling or neutral feeling, they are called upeka. For example, upeka zahagata, chakku vinyana, that is a neutral feeling. That is a feeling, only vedana. Mitta gruna murida upeka is a not feeling, that is a tantra machatana. Sankharupekha jnana, Sankharupekha, that is a knowledge. So in Visodhi Mega it is mentioned under the name of Upekha, all together, ten types of Upekhas are mentioned. <coughs> Accordingly we must know, according to contact, this Tantra Machadada performed as a follow about Upika. Keeping balance in my Then Kaya Pasadi, Chaita Pasadi. Tranquility of mental factors, mental states. Tranquility of mind. Here, kaya, according to this translation, here kaya means not referring to body, referring to mental state. Kaya means another meaning is group, group. 
Chitta Sikha is mental group. Therefore, he are referring to Kaya. In the lecture I delivered in last May, I give another way also. Kaya means just body. Pasati means tranquility. Tranquility, some of tranquility is based on body. Some tranquility is based on my. That is just my opinion, I explain. But according to test, kaya pasati, kaya means mineral state. Pasati is a tranquility. Chaita pasati, chaita is a consciousness, tranquility. Chaita pasati is a tranquility. Tranquility or consciousness. In another way, it is possible, according to my opinion, some tranquility's body origin might affect. Practically, tranquility body origin might affect. That is a kaya pasati. Tranquility my origin body affect. That is a chaita pasati. It's a practical way we should consider in this one. Tranquility is a possible started with the body, started with the mind. So we must understand in this way. Just a translation, kaya lahuda, chaita lahuda. Lahuda means a lightness. Lightness of mental state, lightness of mind, or lightness body origin, my effect. Lightness, my origin, body effect. In this way. Lightness means, uh, you see, sometimes our mind is, some people think, say, in my mind something happened. Mind is heavy. Sometimes we feed in this way. Mind is not so active. Feed lazy or feed something unhappy or you see sometimes worry. Other than mentally lightness is not happy. So such is state. Opposite of such a strength, he has mentioned kaya lahuda, chitta lahuda. Then kaya mududa, chitta mududa, pliancy of mental factors, pliancy of mind. That is also body origin, my effect, pliancy, body origin, my effect, kaya mududa, softness. Chaita Mududa, my origin body effect. Payasi of Payasi body, my origin body effect. In Kaya Kamanyata, Chaita Kamanyata, adaptability of mental factor, adaptability of mind. Sometimes mentally we cannot walk. I'm walking for so that is also give me say body origin my effect, my origin body effect. Kaya Pagonyada, Chaita Pagonyada, proficiency of mental factors, proficiency of my healthiness of my healthiness of body. Healthiness of mineral factors, healthiness of mind. Kayu chukata, chitu chukata. Retitude of mineral factor, retitude of mind. So these mineral states are opposite of kilesa. Opposite of kilesa, resonant. 
if it has a kilesar, some of kilesar's influence, such a stay is, we lost such a stay. When within us there is a no kilesar, mental defamation arises, these mental states appear within us. So these nineties are inseparable. They associate with the one traitors together. Then Virati Chaitasika. Virati is a type of mental state. Virati is a, you see, abstain from evil speech, action, and livelihood. They are mentioned accordingly a four noble path. Sama vacha, right speech, sama kamanda, right action, sama achua, right livelihood. So the same things. Then apamanya. Apamanya is a type of mental strain that it has limitless object. Their object is limitless, therefore they are also limitless. Apamanya. Ah, pamanya. Pamanya means limit. Ah means negative, limitless. Their objects are being. The beings are limitless, therefore, pamanya is limitless. These apamanyas are divided into two karuna and mudita. Karuna and mudita. Karuna, compassion. Mudita, sympathetic joy. Appreciated joy is better. Appreciated. He has sympathetic joy, appreciated joy. Mudita is appreciate. Others are success, it is appreciate. If it not appreciate, jealousy be They have appreciated. Joy is better, not synthetic joy. But most of the translators use synthetic joy. Because you see, these are karuna and murida. Karuna's object is a being who suffered. Therefore, must develop the compassion towards him. Murida, it is Murida's object is a being who succeeds, who is happy. A being who is happy. He recognizes others' happiness, recognizes others' success. Therefore, it is we appreciate, appreciate. If we cannot appreciate, jealousy appear. Jealousy appear. There is the opposite of jealousy, Esa. So therefore, appreciative joy and motive. As the noble abode, there are four. Mitta, Karuna, Murita, Upika. Here, Abhaminya is mentioned only two. Why? Because Mitta is not other than only Adosa. Adosa is mentioned in the Sobhana Sadarana in 19. Therefore, he is not mentioned again Metta. Okay, Metta is only Adosa. Through Adosa, Metta is already mentioned. Therefore, he is only Karuna and Morita. Ubika is mentioned as a Tantra Bajatata, equanimity. So therefore, these two, as a avoidance or repetition, only he has mentioned two. In chapter 9, we'll be explained for Apamanya. Apamanya will be mentioned as a four. Here, Apamanya is only two. We must understand this one. Then Panya. Panya is a mental state that realizes an object. Realizes an object. 
Panya is opposite of ignorance, moha. It is a town in Pali, Panyadariya, faculty of wisdom. In Hindu, it is mentioned as a amoha. Amoha in Panyadariya is the same things. Amoha in Panyadariya, the same things. You see, lower dosa moha, lower dosa amoha is mentioned. Then, a photo of a pali, this banya is mentioned as a sama deity. Sama deity is not the other things, only this banya. So, all together, the mental states are 52. So we have a studies about the Cheta, we have a studies about Cheta Sika, separately now. Do you remember 89 Cheta or 121 Chetas explained? Then 52 Cheta Sikas explained and now. These two will be associated accordingly. This as Association systems is explained here. If you see, you can, there is a cheta. You see the, the second saga is a universal cheta sika. They are inseparable. Inseparable. Cheta and seven universal. Then, particular six. All together in these three circles, how many phenomena are here? One cheta, seven universe, and six particulars, all together 40. These 40s, we cannot say good and evil. They united as a mind. At the least, there must be two circles. Center the cheta, these cheta sikas arises. Then, more this six arises. So, after that, when lower dosa moha, evil 40 is associated together with the 30 and 40, all together, 37, that is associated with the akusala. This, then this side is a 25, Sopana. This is, this is also associated with this 30 together, this side. This side is a Kusala, that side is a Kusala. They cannot associate each other, these two. This Sage is both the side. When a kusala arises, this kusala cannot arise. When these 50, 25 arises, these 40 cannot arise. They cannot join each other, cannot associate each other. Only associations are only these. These sake is associated with both the side. Therefore, they are common to others. If you associate with the evil, they become evil. If you associate the good, they become good. This is the whole picture of association. But separately, we must know accordingly here. That is the unity of mind. Unity of mind. Body is a composed of many parts of organs. Like that, my also unity of mental state. To explain, the test they use two ways. To explain association, the test is used two ways. That it will be explained. Cheta Sika arises and depend on only Cheta. Cheta associated with the Cheta Sika. Cheta and some of Cheta Sika work together on the same object. 
Queen Cheta and Cheta Sika Association, the way of Sangha Yoga, the way of Sangha. Sangha Yoga means how many Chaitas are associated with the Cheta Sika? From Cheta Sika to Cheta, that is a Sangha Yoga. From Cheta to Cheta Sika, because our associations are each other. Associations with each other. So therefore, according to two way will be explained. The way of Samba Yoga. In the way of Samba Yoga, it is described how Chaitasika is associated with how many Chaitas. So according to the number, according to the order of Chaitasika will be explained. First we must go. We must start with the Pasa. Pasa, Vedana, Sanya, Jitana, Ikegeda, Jivita, Nariya, Manasikara, these sevens are universal. Therefore, Pasa associated with 89 chaitas. Okay? Pasa associated with 89 chaitas or 121 chaitas because all chaitas associated with the Pasa. Then Vedana. Vedana associated with 89 or 121 Chaitanya. Sanya, the same. Chaitanya, the same. Ikegeda, Jivitaitariya, Manasikara associated with 89 Chaitanya and 121 Chaitanya. So, Each chaitas. There is no chaita which is dissociated from pasa or associated. Therefore, in number one, seven universal mental state arises and dependent on all types of chaita. They must go to particular. Viteka, vichara, timoka, viniya, piti, chanda. So Vitaka arises depending on 55 types of chaitas. Only 55. Not all chaitas are associated with Vitaka. So you can you can see first the next page church. Okay. Page number 42. Pasa Vedana 89, dissociate chaitas no. Okay, Viteka, how many chaitas associated with the Viteka? 55. Dissociate chaitas? 66. If you add these two numbers, what would? 100 and? 121. Why not 89? Why not 89? Because of Viteka is a jhana factor. According to jhana chaitas, therefore, association systems are mentioned according to jhana factors. Okay? Then, vichara associate 66, dissociate 55. So, if you add these two numbers, you can get 121. Vichara also jhana factors. Then a Dimoka, 78. Associated Jada, 78. Dissociated Jada, 11. If you add these two numbers, 89. 89. Must be correct, these two numbers. If not correct, something wrong. 89. Because a Dimoka is not a factor of time, then we react. 73, associated chaitas. 16, dissociated chaitas. If you add these two numbers, you can get 89. 89. Then PT, associated 51, dissociated 17. If you add these two numbers, 121. Because of PT is a factors. 
Chanda associated Jaga 69, dissociated Jaga 20. If you add this number to number 89. So you should count these numbers looking at the preceding page. That's just for homework, okay? I did not explain this. When we take a arises, we take a rise together with the divine jetas. But not at the same moment. You don't think at the same moment. Different moment, different object. There is a explanation, a possible de explanation. Okay? Possible explanation. Generally said. Then Another one regarding the Akusala. Akusala Kodi. Moha Ahirika Anatapa Odaja. These four. Associate the 12 Akusala. Dissociate the 77. The others. Okay. Lava associate 8. Lava Mula 8. Dissociate 81. Deity mana associate 4. That is a deity, it's a deity gata sampayota. Mana is a deity gata vipayota. These two never associate in one chaita. They are different chaita they associate. Because they have a different object. Mana's object. Deity's object. Mana's object is view. Deity's object own quality, own qualification. If these two chaitas are different, view different, different object cannot associate. You should remember must be the same object. Okay, association. Must be the same base, the same object, arising the same moment, season the same moment. It must be in this way. If a different object cannot associate, so therefore, deities for Loba Mula, Dedicata Sambayota. Mana for Loba Mula, Dedicata Vibyota. Number is the same. Then 85 dissociate. What about the dosa, esa, macharia, kokocha? They associated two, dosa mula two. Dissociate eighty seven. Tina meda five. Only sasankarika without, uh, with the bramditude. Uh, with the bramditude are uh, five altogether. Loba mula and the dosa mula. 84 dissociate. Vichikecha is only one. That is a Vichikecha Zahagata Mohamula. Then dissociate 88. That is just a memorize. Not practical way it is. Okay? This is just to test you are. You should memorize this one. To memorize for what? <laughs> hmm? For what? For examination. For? <laughs> so, Abhidhamma is, you see, only numbers are used. Some people are afraid, very lazy, to raise an Abhidhamma. Therefore, I did the approach in this way. So, practical way, there is a systematically we must know first. After that, the practical way, these dhammas are united as a one. We must separate. If they are united, there is an energy. They perform their action. If it's separated, there is nothing. So we must understand in this way. So association system, according to test, we must know in this way. Then, in the lecture on the lecture in May, May lecture, I didn't explain this. Or explain, I don't remember. Do you remember? 
<laughs> because of this, this is just a memorized, you see? Just a do know the memorize, not practical way. But you must know these. Must, must know these. Okay, let us run. This is a then you must find out the number enumerations, okay? Easily can be found. Then regard into Sovana fifty two. Sovana nineteen associated fifty nine dissociated thirty. So you can find fifty nine and thirty, the preceding passages. With a D3, associate a 60, dissociate 73. This is, I will give it just for homework, okay? Tomorrow I will ask questions. <laughs> because uh, you ask me a lot of questions. <laughs> I also will ask this one. <laughs> if we learn a Vidama, we should memorize these. Okay? So, I will ask you, how many jetas are associated with virti? You must give an answer. How many jetas are dissociate from virti? You must know this one. Okay? That is a homework. Apamanya 2 associated 28, dissociate 61. And 2003, I went to Germany. I delivered a lecture on Vidama the first time I visited to Germany. Uh, three weeks of Vidama lectures there. In the end, I gave a certificate to the candidates, diploma, <laughs> diploma in Abhidhamma. But I tell them, I want to ask you two questions. You must answer correctly, otherwise I cannot give the certificate. So one lady came from Netherlands. She memorized all because of if I ask a question, she afraid that she cannot be answered. She cannot answer. Therefore, the whole day she memorized some points. She prepared for this question to give answer. On that day, I question. I ask a question. Two questions. They also allow. You can ask me only two questions, each one. <laughs> Not more than two questions. I will give. I also will be, I also will ask you two questions. But be careful. You must answer correctly my question. Otherwise I cannot end the door the certificate. So, they are afraid of questions. <laughs> <laughs> On that day, uh, I asked them, are you interested in Vidamas? They say, yes, that is one question. <laughs> <laughs> they pass the examination. <laughs> they pass the examination. <laughs> are, you in, are you interested in Vidamas? Yes, we are interested. Oh, that is a correct answer. <laughs> But uh, tomorrow I will ask you a question. How many changes are associated with the PT? <laughs> she must give an answer, otherwise I cannot give certificate. <laughs> it's okay? We are the Apamanya Panya, Panya associated with the 47, dissociated in 42. So that is a samba yoga method. 
Sambha Yoga method from Chaita Sika to Chaita. From, Ch from Chaita Sika to Chaita. Then the way of Sankaha, that is from Chaita to Chaita Sika. That is interesting, okay? Regarding to the aura is unchanged in fundamental, but the origin test aura is not a start with the Akusa. According to the aura of Chaita classification, I changed the aura. Akusala started. So, regarding to the Dwa Akusala Chaita. The eight types of Loba Muna Chaita associated with 22 Chaita Sika, namely the 30 Anyasamana mental state, the four types of Akusala mental state, that are common to all men, a moral mental state, and the Dova, Deity, Mana, Tina, Maida, all together they are 22. So whenever Loba, Loba Muna Chaitas arises, generally these 22 Chaitas Chaitas arises. Not only one. For example, when you visit to Supermarket, you are searching for something to buy. You found, so you like it, that things. At the day, Loba Mura, this is also Loba Mura changes. Attachment to the property, Loba Mura changes arises. But we know only this is a Loba Mura change, only one. But not only one, 22, actually, uh, the generally this 22 Chita Sikas participate. There must be Pasa, there must be Vedana, Sanya, Chitana, Ikegada, Jivita, Dariya, Madasikara, Vitekas. All mental states are participate, you see. Oh. So all the 22 mental states are roughly, they are participate. So that is only one mind. There is only one unit. One unit, the unity of these mental states working together. We must understand this way. Why we need to analyze in this way? To make sure there is no permanent entity. There is no agent. Only phenomena working together. To make it sure, we need to analyze. It's okay. This is analytical knowledge of mind and matter. Can remove the wrong view. Can remove the wrong view. Wrong view is so strong. Therefore, that is the only way by analyzing mind and matter we can remove our wrong view. As long as we have a round view, we cannot find Nirvana. Because round view leads to other ways apart from Nirvana. So therefore, to eradicate, to remove the round view, we have to know analyze, analyzation, analyze. So regarding to Akusala, there is not so difficulty. You can read this church that Loba Pula ate in the end of 44. Then accordingly will be explained first Loba Mula, second Loba Mula, and third Loba Mula, okay? Fourth Loba Mula, fifth Loba Mula, sixth Loba Mula, seventh Loba Mula. Eight Loba Mula. Associated Jita Sika number is a different. If first Loba Mula Jita arises within you, 90 Jita Sika will be, will associate. Only 19. We must understand. You can find this number easily. Okay? Preceding passages as I mentioned. What is the first Loba Mula Jita? 
Do you remember what first law of logic? Samana Sazagada, Deti Gada Sambayoda, Asankarika. So with the pleasant feeling, with, with the wrong view, without a promptitude. So this is first law of Mula Chita. So you must check your mind. When you find something, you like it at a time. Which law of Mula Chita arises within you? You must check yourself. I cannot check your mind. You must check your mind. Accordingly, you must check your mind. So, okay, that is called Chaitanya Upasana. Chaitanya Upasana in Mahasati Patana Soda, the Buddha said Chaitanya Upasana. Saragava Chaitan, Saragava Chaitan, Dipachanati. You realize the Chaita with the craving, you must realize as a Chaita with the craving. That is meditation system. Okay? So, therefore, we must know about that. Lava Mula, first Lava Mula. What about the second Lava Mula? When second Lava Mula Chaita arises, this will be more. Which is more? 21. How many more? Two more. Why? Huh? Sloth and Topa. Yes, correct. Sloth and Topa. Mental time <laughs> is participate because of need to encourage. So, uh, there is, you see, hesitation because of the hesitation. Craving for something but hesitate. Is it possible or not possible? You want but hesitate. You experience or not? You want something but hesitate. Is it possible? Yes. Maybe you think other you want something you like, but you count the money not enough, hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> to buy it hesitate. This is a hesitation. So expensive, hesitate. <laughs> so hesitation is in many ways, you see. Not so strong at the time. Then the third Lava Mula Chaitanya is 19. Why is it become 19? That is a Deity Gata Vipayota. Okay? Within Sotavana, Deity Gata Vipayota Chaitanya arises. Most friendly within Sotavana. Sotavana has no wrong view, but Lova is a still remain. Lova is a still remain, therefore, Lova Munajita has arisen. Then, accordingly, you should remember these Chaitas, Chaita and Chaita Sika. Then, Dosa Mula, I will ask you these numbers tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, how to count these numbers as a homework you must do? So, Mohamula, Ahituka, he has mentioned everything. Just memorize these. Okay? No need to explain these. Just memorize. I have already explained it. That is a just a memory to how many. Okay? So this is chapter 2. If you can give an answer, I will continue chapter 3. <laughs> and next in the chat, so we will do it. But you must do homework, okay? Let me stop with this today, let's just.